I started off on sort of the more academic aspect of just showing traditional masks, how masks are used to disguise or to transform. <laughs> For some people, that's one of the things that masks do, is they express things that they can't verbally, but it's, a lot of it is about transformation. I had been like digging at it to, like to catch because the clay can get like stuck onto the mask. It's kind of a mess now, but. <laughs> I'm making this for my dad, so he just got a new place, and his girlfriend is Colombian, so they're using a lot of Colombian-inspired arts. So he sent me a photo of a few of the Colombian deities that they already had around the house, so I tried to mimic that with this mask for him. I've never really made a mask before, and neither have I done any sort of paper mache so um, this is definitely a great learning experience. Um, and yeah, and it's good for stress relief, so it's a lot of fun. That makes me feel good, though, that they're having fun. You know, it's not about it being a class. It's about getting to do something creative.